So if you want to remove your Facebook pixel from your Facebook ad account or your WordPress website, this is how you can do it. So the thing is Facebook doesn't really allow you to delete your website or your pixel from your website, but you can actually remove it. Like you can configure it not to use that pixel and use the very pixel that you want to use. So in my case, I have multiple pixels and I want to remove some of them and keep things organized. So the first thing you need to do is of, um, to come to your ads manager. So this is the ads manager and you want to select the particular ad account. So I've selected this ad account that I want to use. So you want to come to all tools here and you want to come to your business settings. So we want to go to our data sources and this is where we can find all the sources that Facebook uses to collect data for us. So if you come to um, your business info at the bottom here, you will see your data sources. So you click on the data sources, you see all the things, the, your data and your pixels, your conversion settings, your shared audiences and all of that. So you want to click on the data sets and pixels. And you can see right here, I have three, um, two pixels actually, and this is a conversion API. But now I recently disconnected this one. So as you can see, no data is connected. How do you do this? The way to do this is um, actually simple. Again, you cannot outrightly delete these pixels. I don't know why Facebook makes it impossible, but um, to remove it, to remove it, you just need to dis disconnect the access. So if you select it, you want to come to people here and you want to select um, the people. So currently only one person has access to this. So you cannot delete it if it's just one person. All right. So if you come to partners, you can remove the partners, but this is largely how you do it. You want to come to the connected assets, which is going to be your ad account and you can basically just disconnect it. So the moment you disconnect it, the ad account will not be able to track it or use it. So that's the first way to do it. So also if you have this conversion API, it's basically the same thing. You can click on it. And you, if you come here, you can see that we have two persons or two assets. You can remove the person. You have this um, delete here. You can delete people from here or you can delete the conversion API. So the moment you delete it, it will not have access to your website anymore. So for instance, again, let's say I want to delete this one. I can just click on it, come down here and I can just delete the conversion API. I can come here, I can um, delete the partners, if any. I can come here, delete the connected ad, um, ad account, which would be the ad account that you don't want to use or you don't want to connect. Alternatively, you can connect even more as um, access assets to this. Now, how do you remove it from your website? So I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a WordPress website in this case. So all you have to do is you want to go to your WordPress website and you want to go to wherever you put the code. So in my case, I use this plugin called HFMCM or if you use the code snippets, you can basically just go to the snippet. So, so if you come to your code snippets here, you come to your header and footer. This is where you actually placed the Facebook pixel. So this is the Facebook pixel. And all you have to do is basically just copy, every, delete everything here. And after deleting it, you can just hit change or save. This will allow it not to have access to your website anymore because the code is gone. So these are just the ways you can use to remove um, Facebook pixel from your website and also from your ad account. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video. I'll see you in my next video.